This stuff couldn't even make up the best of science fiction to how deep it gets. But when you start searching and checking everything, it all checks back and it all makes sense. And again, it's because of the same process that we're witnessing here. What happens if we end up destroying our bio system? What happens if we're not able to catch this in enough time and then your children and my children and the children that are living now are continue to be brought up into a system that is assimilating them into the point where nature is no longer even considered as, as, a, as being a viable component and then everyone starts to try to fuel themselves on not only low vibratory energy but also things that have no mineral systems aka GMOs and then you run that out for 10 or 15 years what are you going to be dealing with World War Z I mean what would you really be dealing with so play it out already it already happened somewhere else this is a circle there's nothing new in this particular system it's not original we have to get to the original state of consciousness which is a frequency it's a way of being so then what happens is is that those beings who destroy what they have that they should have cherished and they should have guarded and protected like today you have to learn how to cherish guard and protect your wholeness because there are vampires binary beings demons whatever you want to call them there is no fear but to identify them and to know them is half of the battle running around here attached to others their their power is their invisibility because they cannot manifest they can't manifest into physicality. They appear as shadows and ghosts and vapors unless they get enough energy in one spurt, enough photons in one spurt from something to manifest very briefly and then they fade out again because they're ghosts. That's what they look like, the ghost gods, the eidolons, the archons. They can't come into biological worlds because the biological world sustains itself on an energetic system that they are not harmonic with. So they need you then to destroy your frequency, not only in your body, so they can inhabit you, but also your planet, so they can inhabit your planet, okay? And that's how it is. Now, if you think it's a game, if you think it's a joke, look at what's happening in, 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 uh, in Turkey and Syria. Look at what's happening in any other places around the world besides mainly the purporters of who's doing this, the United States, Israel, etc., who spend most of their time debasing and dumbing down their citizens to not be aware of what they're doing to the rest of the world in a methodical process to ultimately destroy our planet. And this is what you're waking up to every morning. And many people will just go to sleep. People have been trying to put me to sleep for seven years now. Seven, it's, you need to calm down. All it is is ever, and you, you signed up to be here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Forget the Jedi mind tricks. It doesn't work on huts. The reality is, is I'm looking at what's going on here and I'm assessing everything from a logical and spiritual state of consciousness imbalance. And this is what's coming back. And I run it back in again to hey, make sure this is right, because I don't I don't know. This doesn't look like it's pretty far out there. You put it back in, comes back again. Whoa, you're bringing me back even more. And it's because it all starts to connect. So then at the end of the day. You will drive yourself crazy in not believing this than actually believing it. This is what I started realizing. Even in my infant stages of understanding the spiritual realms, I started getting to the point where I was like, man, it's, it's going to be more difficult for, for me to believe that this is not happening based on what I'm experiencing and what I'm seeing and what I'm learning than, uh, uh, that, that, than that it is happening. You see, so it's easier when you un understand the truth. Okay, so we're going to keep going with this because there's more to it. I just want you to understand. Now watch this because oblivion approaches and what you're here to do is to prevent it. And some people will be like, what are you saying? You mean you're, you're talking about we're here to prevent the destruction of the world? Anyone with the frequency of realizing what's going on and starting to push that back and begin to harmonize it is here for that exact mission. It's not that you're going to be the only one and have been the only one. See, sometimes when we accept certain realities, even titles, like if I say you're the supreme being, some of the supreme being, and because they've elevated this supreme being so far beyond themselves, they can't imagine themselves as it. So it's the same thing as if I tell you that you're here to put the world and restore the world back into balance and to take it off its wobble and to save your mother and father from exact retribution, 
then it may seem, oh, then this is too far off. This is this is more than than I can than you know than is about me. And it's because you're putting it too high. You're putting it on a pedestal. This is about being on the same level. We see eye eye with this mission because it involves my life and my death, just like it involves your life and your death and what comes beyond. You see what I mean? So that's why it's like, okay, well, this is about me. When you harmonize with something, you make it integral to you. That's all you're doing. So if this is about you, which it is, you're living here just like me, this means that this is you. This is your responsibility. This is your service. Okay? So going on. So the breakdown of the biosphere, which you need to really understand because we're all connected to the biosphere. The biosphere was what I was talking about was the soul or the mainframe of the planetary system. So when that begins to break down, which is doing now, then the connection between the, the spirits, the ones still acting out in their individual characters, and the soul becomes less and less. There becomes this disconnection because the biosphere is breaking down. This means it's like the neurological paths in the veins within your body. Once there's a blockage, then there can be no connection. So then there's a loss of empathy and a loss of compassion and all the other abilities that are attached into that. Remember, empathy and compassion actually give the person telekinesis. Empathy and compassion is being able to sense the subtle waveforms and frequencies that exist throughout the entire construct. So when you get cut off or you cut yourself off, then you can't feel that. OK, so many people have now think that that's the benefit. They think that that's their benefit because they can see someone get their leg blown off and not feel anything like, well, you know, it's not my family members click. And then on, on next on news, oh, a tornado comes across Hawaii and a guy gets his head ripped off. Next, how Dodge is coming out with a new Viper. What? Uh, and then you're just like, boom, boom. And it didn't even register as two different things because there's no empathy. There's no compassion. So this same thing about activating chakras and activating your system is tied all into this because if you're not, if you don't have the activation, meaning that the circuits connect, let's think about this because people try to make activation so complex and even I've been guilty of that years ago when I understood it as what the new age people were talking about. Activation is as simple as this. If we have, let's say this device and one of the wires is not missing, is missing, we're not going to be able to turn it on. So that's, we're not going to be able to power it up. Thus, it's not going to activate. Okay. It's as simple as that. So if one of your main cords, arteries, chakras, whatever you want to call them happens to be disconnected, you're not going to activate. And without activation, then you cannot perceive See, you, you don't have this perception. Let me check these batteries so I can stop looking behind myself. You don't have the perceptions. And these perceptions are what actually equal all your abilities. Okay, this is looking good. Let me just put this back in my pocket real quick here. So just remember what I'm saying. So that's why when you're in these Reiki and in, the, in these different sessions and they say, oh, you got some blockages. You have this blockage in your heart chakra. We're going to try to work with this blockage and remove this blockage. You need to realize what they're saying is, is that the blockage is keeping the Kundalini, the energy, your own personal energy source from running through that area of the system. And if it doesn't run through that area of the system, then there's no activation. If there's no activation, then there's no telekinesis. There's no full awareness. Now, this is the other thing, though. See, when there's a full awareness the main thing, this is why they always show superheroes when they activate what generally accompanies the activation. Pain. Think about it. Look at the Hulk. Look at Wolverine. The activation accompanies pain because now when the being activates themselves, they are now tapped back into the soul. And because the soul is experiencing a war right now, it's being, they are attempting to cut us off from our planet. And so that is done in oil spills. That is done in earth in, in fracking and destroying the ley lines and the artery systems of the planet. That is done by even the planet's own inhabitants throwing paper and plastic in the ocean and all that. So the planet is not in a great mood. So when you activate and unblock Kundalini, that's why it starts for many people a trauma, Kundalini syndrome, etc., because they can't handle the pain. You see, so this is that's why this is a depth level stuff, because some people think, OK, well, I'm going to activate this Kundalini and now I'm going to throw fire from my hands and burn Sith. They because they so mind controlled and programmed for what's coming on, going on the TV 
that they've lost their idea of what this is even really about. That it, it's designed that way. This is about that you cannot even activate yourself without going back to a past recollection of the desolation of your biorhythm, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your friends, and then on back because then you start realizing how everyone connects to you and oh my God, then you start realizing that man, you'll go, I mean, the, you're gonna be in tears for a while. Many of us have always al already been through that phase and have to go through those phases in order to not disconnect ourselves from our mother and thus connect to, from our source and thus disconnect ourselves from our powers. You see? So think about it. So your powers are connected to your ability to deal with the pain. So here we go. I mean, it was no different in the gym, though, because <laughs> that's the thing. Like, well, that's deep. But it's no deeper than what we deal with when you go work out. You're going to have to deal with the pain that comes behind the soreness in order for you to have more strength. So what, where did we go wrong here? Like where is there something that's being stated that does not reflect itself within every other aspect of our growth in this reality? Okay? And there will, of course, be eventual time to where you reach what I call the pinnacle, the peak. To where it doesn't matter. You can sit there and run all day. I can keep lifting this stuff, man. I'm not even worried. Like, I've reached some zone, as they call it. I'm in a zone, man. I don't even feel the tiredness or nothing. Like, the class over already. So there, of course, is that point. But before then, is the other thing to really, to also realize within this is that when you convert from trinary to binary, then... What's lost is, of course, the origination. Remember, that's, that's the main thing that's lost, is the ability to originate. Because once the ability to originate is lost, then the person cannot be the source. And this is why people are always trying to ask themselves, well, where is God and what really created all this and all this kind of uh, uh, disconnection. That's where that comes from. When the trinary being goes to the binary, they miss the zero. So since that's no longer present or suppressed inside of them, compressed inside of them. That's why I say Kundalini is compressed inside of the body. It's down in the base of the spine, okay? It's telling you what happened. That's why I said in the tail, the tail of the human being, the spine is their story. And every time a tail runs off, meaning like a, the tail, you live a tail, right? That's one disc in your spine. It's all set up like this. The disc in the spine is then sealed. That's why the discs in the spines are sealed. And then another disc goes on top of that as you begin to develop another life. And this is your process through what people call the ecosystem as you're evolving, right? Okay, so each of these discs are then sealed. So when you go through a Kundalini awakening, the seals break. So all of the memories and the recollections and all the pain and the suffering and the wars and all that you've been through in developing those discs, planes, timelines, flat earths, whatever you want to call them, all come back in a rush. And the being has to be willing to deal with that. The being has to be willing to confront that. You see? So that's why these activations have always been so, you know, you need real people that know how to do that. You need to be up in some place where somebody didn't certify themselves as the shaman. And then now because they just did a couple of ceremonies and now they think they can go and administer the ceremony. And then all of a sudden you unlock the disc or break the seals on someone who has dealt with several past lives of retribution of being on one side and the other. And now all that's coming out in front of you. <laughs> and a person spinning up green goo and acting like things that they've never even that you've never even seen before I mean come on and but that would be your lesson for tampering with things that are greater than the maturity that you have achieved thus far you see what I mean and then the lessons will play out and so this is how it works